Coach P is me. And, um, I think the world need to know who I am. You know what I'm saying? Not only because I'm one, like I'm like one of the best rappers ever, but because I'm like I'm one of the, the coolest niggas ever. I'm, I'm like I'm like the nigga that a lot of youngsters should take something from and learn something from and, and see what I do and apply it to their everyday life. Cause I feel like I'm living every man's dream. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying I don't I don't work no job. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going out here distressing myself out over a record deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing me, man. And I just happen to know how to make music about what I do. And it's like, it's like. Pimp in. Welcome to Coach P's Pussy Store. Man, you know, you know, before I go on and explain Coach P, I'm going to introduce myself, man. I'm Jay Flea, the one to see, man, you know. Been, been, you know, fucking with this good man, Coach, man, since I was about ninth grade or so, you know. I mean, been knowing him for, for quite a few years, man, but, you know, the young man is really, really about, how can I say, you know how some rappers, and, you know, some rappers' partners, you know, they're gonna pump, they punch up to be this magical individual, man. I mean, you know, we all have our flaws, we all have our ups and downs, man, and everything that's in the rhymes, man, has actually happened. You know what I mean? Coach Street, man, that's my brother from another mother, man, you know what I mean? Real nigga in the streets, you know what I mean? And this is how we doing it, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. Coach P is a West Coast rapper that's about to change the game, you know, takes this whole pimp music into a whole new kind of spaceship. Uh, Coach P, Coach P is, is not just a rapper, it's a whole movement. Bitch, I'm in the E with the I-N-G-B. Coach P came from, uh, I actually came up with that idea, like, you know, I've always been like a ladies man my whole life. And when I got about middle school, man, you know what I'm saying? They asked me, they asked me what my name was, you know, and I was just on my on my on my tip, on my swag tip. And I told them my name was po Poker Ho. I thought it was Poker Ho to Max. You know what I'm saying? And then like when so I got to Gardena, you know what I'm saying, in LA, all the homies just started calling me Po. And I got put up on the uh, 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 on, on this pimping, this pimping. And I said, man, I can't be, I can't, I can't be a pimp named Poker Ho. You know what I'm saying? But I rolled with it anyway, man. Yeah, I'm Poker Mac. I was, I was Poker Mac. And then, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I evolved into something bigger and better. You know what I'm saying? And I said, man, my name ain't Poker Ho. You know why? Because I'm not poking these hoes. I'm coaching these hoes. You know what I'm saying? So I said, my name is Coach P. Like my partner Cino, my big homie Cino. That boy was like, ooh, that's some pimping right there, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just got a lot of good feedback from, from, from Coach P. There's people that understand where it came from in the first place. And I rolled with it. And I feel like it'll be more marketable for, for this music industry, what I'm pursuing, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I know I can't be no rapper named Coca Ho. You know what I'm saying? But that's where it came from when I was an adolescent. And I'm Coach P now. You know what I'm talking about? Because I'm coaching. I'll be really doing, I'll be coaching. Hold on, this is my hoe right here to call me. Yeah. My phone's about to die, Daddy. Your phone about to die, bitch? Yes, Daddy. Where you at? I'm outside of Albertson. Alright, I'm about to swing on you right now. Shit like that. I've been here about 15 minutes. Give me about 9 minutes and 47 seconds, literally. Yes, Daddy. Just, just coaching, you know what I'm saying? And I figure, shit, I'm a coach. When I meet these hookers, man, you know what I'm saying? And even when I meet, even when I meet a young artist, man, that I take under my wing into this Mac Boy movement, man, I'm a coach. You know what I'm saying? I see something in people that they don't see in themselves, and I coach them. I guide them into their, into their full potential. Go platinum off a of hook. I ain't pimping. Bitch, I'm pimping. With the I-N-G behind the P-I-M-P. Yes. The P can stand for anything. Power, prosperity, pimping, profit, you know, proposition for you, you know. It's the 16th letter, period, man. That's the, that's the best letter in the alphabet. I be telling bitches that's the only letter in the alphabet. P, besides you and I. <laughs>
Gardena, California, Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? The Gardena area. And uh, born and raised out there, man, you know. I've been uh, I just recently moved to Vegas in uh, October of 08. And I came out here to really take this 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 music serious, you know what I'm saying? Like I got a lot of connections out here as far as for me to have studio time and and and, and, and anything that got to do with music, period. All my connections was out here through my brother Peter Kane. So I just dropped everything I had going on in LA. I wasn't doing too much of shit but hustling. Shit that I could do anywhere in the country. And I just came, I just came, you know what I'm saying? And when I got out here, I realized that shit, man, this might be the best place for, for, for me to be. But the type of person I am, you know what I'm saying? There's more money out here. It's um, it's a lot more laid back and shit. It's just opportunity, man. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm optional and optimistic, and Vegas is the best place for a nigga like me to be. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been, I've been down, up, and up and down. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and just, I like it out here in Vegas for the simple fact that a nigga make a lot of money at doing. You know what I'm saying? What I do for me to get to where I'm trying to go. Best way I can explain the, the what I rap about is myself. When it come down to that music, you might as well just call me conceited, cause all I like all I can possibly think of is, is is the things that I do or have or have just got done doing or plan on doing. Or peanut butter and jelly. Goes together. You know, only only thing that can teach you about life is your experience. And in his lyrics, his, his experiences is his life. So he's only giving you literally a trip inside of his brain. It's like it's, it's my thoughts. It's my it's my thought process. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's what I'm putting on paper. Like I'm not really just rapping type of rapper that I come up with some fancy ass lines and say oh that's a tight ass line I'm gonna put that in my next rap I don't do that it's like it's more like poetry you know what I'm saying it, it's from it's from my, my true feelings my true heart my true mind and, the, and my true desires and the things that I truly do on a, on a day-to-day -day basis you know what I'm saying it's if it if, if, if it was a genre besides hip-hop you know of course it's hip-hop it's coach pedo man you know what I'm saying it's, it's, the genre, it's the Coach P genre, and I rap about my life. When you hear me, when you hear me on on that beat, on your radio, I'm talking to you. I'm telling you what I just got done doing. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm about to do. Or I didn't did. It's, it's, it's really, it's just all me. From here, from Las Vegas to San Diego, my nigga's pimping, you know what I'm saying? And he's gonna roll with it. So it's not just, you know, oh, I'm just gonna pick up and I'm gonna spit about pimping. No, what he's actually doing. Not, it's not just only just pimping, but when it comes to, you know, hustling and, you know, being a G on the block and all that shit, that's basically what the nigga live, that's what the nigga do, that's who he is, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, nothing far-fetched, no PR, or nothing about that. That's some serious shit. You know what I'm saying? And that that's 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 just the way it is. You know what I mean? I mean you can't really get no 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 Well not just not no really you can't even get no more prolific than that. You know what I'm saying? Like shit is like for real for real. You know what I'm saying? Rap about it real, man. We be rapping about this pimping and shit like that, man. And, and motherfucker be so motherfucking busy pimping and shit. You know what I mean? That a motherfucker don't even take this rap shit serious. You know what I mean? A nigga be really like uh, 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 pimping and shit, like listening to raps and shit, man, and doing some gangster shit. You know what I mean? That's what niggas really do. You know, really, really serious though with this shit though, man. You know what I mean? Really hustling, man. And we really doing this shit, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Coach B, man. That's That's the time I was born. And the funny way, the funny thing is, I didn't find out that that was the time I was born until like um, about 2008 when I, when I actually took the time out to read my goddamn birth certificate. But, but it goes deeper than that. When I was younger, you know what I'm saying, my brother Peter Kane, y'all gonna meet that boy too. My boy Peter Kane's my brother. That boy, when, I, that, when that boy was in high school, he was from a clique. Look, you know, I got cliques in high school. And the name of the clique was Players for Life. Player for Life. And, 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 and they abbreviated the PFL with the 947. You know what I'm saying? The 9 for the P, the 4 for the 4, and the, and the 7 for the L. 
and that shit mean player for life, 947. And, and so what happened, I finds out I was born at 947. And I shit, man, you know, and, and shit. That's all, I, that's all I can say about that, man. You put two or two together, man, you'll tell you, man, I'm born for it. If you want to just, I'm just inspired by my, my, my ambition to, to be great, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I'm, 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 I'm a real ambitious person, and I feel like I'm here for a purpose, and my purpose is not to be a rapper. My purpose is not to just be a, a human being on this planet. My purpose is to really share what I've been gifted with to the world so y'all can have that gift too. You know what I'm saying? Get the gas, get the game, get to know us. 90% of humans out here that don't know what's up, don't know what they doing, don't know what they here for, just living. You got 10% of humans that do. And out of that 10% of humans, 5% take what they know and they use it against the 90% to get ahead. And you got that 5% that use what they know and they try to enlighten the 90% that can even recollect what's the truth and, what, and, 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 and uh, about destiny and what you're here for and about really, you know what I'm saying, being the best you can be. And I'm one of those 5% that really feels like a nigga needs to share this knowledge that, he, that every human being is being blessed with. And it, and, and it really ain't my knowledge that you're blessed with. It's about who you are as a person that you blessed with. Everybody is different, and everybody do what they here for, for a reason. And I do what I'm here for 100%, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and if you can understand that, you need to embrace yourself, and be yourself, and nothing but yourself. And you will be successful uh, no matter what that is that you're supposed to be successful at. And that's what I'm doing. So you can do the same thing too, straight up. Be yourself. Who's your hero? My hero? Man, I, I see my hero every day. You know what I'm saying? When I wake up in the morning, I go look in the mirror, and I see that nigga every single day. Every day I see my hero. That's a real hero. And you get up in the morning and look in the mirror and see that nigga. That's a real hero. That's my hero. That nigga that be in the mirror. Every time I look in, every time I look in the mirror and I see that nigga, that's my hero. Straight up. Y'all gonna have to excuse me for a second, man, you know, because I'm at work while I'm doing this, too, you know what I'm saying? I'll be doing other things, too. That child, that. That she go, that she go. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get as much money as I can, man, you know. Look at it. Looking like a million in cash and all 20. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how? What's this? Couple hundred. Some, some. Thousand dollars? Just a little. I, I, yeah, okay, we'll take that, man. You know, the night is still early. I'm, I'm, I think I'm about to take you to that Las Vegas Boulevard, man. You know what I'm saying? So I want you, I'm about to take you to the room. Get you, throw you some notes. Throw you something on else. Take you a shower and shit. And then we're gonna get back to it, man. We're going, we're going, we're going for 25. I think it'd be a couple of people like and, and, and mixed in one little pot of gumbo, you know what I'm saying? And that would be like that boy T.I., that boy Snoop Dogg, and that boy Andre 3000. And I'ma say Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg is like more, he more of a laid back, smooth, smooth talking nigga like myself, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that, that boy T.I., See, that boy T.I., he, he remind me of himself because he, he talks to real. He talks about his real life experiences and his point of views on real life. You know what I'm saying? And as far as that flow, that, that, that coming at you from a, a, a grown man's perspective and an and, and educated, knowledgeable point, uh, perspective, I got to go with that boy Andre 3000. You know what I'm saying? With that T.I. and that Snoop, that T. See, I got the... I, it's like, it's like, it's just mixed in one gumbo, man. You can check out my mixtapes, man, on datpip.com. All you gotta do is search Coach P. 
and man, and, and when you get a dose of that, you'll see what I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, I'm like them three guys in one, but I'm me though. You know what I'm saying? I'm me. I'm original. But them the closest, the closest, the closest little swags close to me. But then it's them swags in one. It's not them individual swags. Like you, you gotta go get all three of them, combine them in one, and you'll get almost Coach Pick. And that's what, and that's a lot. And that's just honest. You know what I'm saying? Not to, not to down or belittle, belittle them artists because they're some of my favorite rappers also. But just if you're trying to figure me out, from my, you know what I'm saying, from my point of view, it's, it's them three guys in the pot of gum box. Uh, next is my cross country pimping tour, man, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't a normal tour. Like I'm finna go state to state doing shows and shit type tour. It's more of a promotional tour where I'm finna, I'm finna just get on that road. I'm finna touch all the major cities in the country and and and, and, and uh, promote my music, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I like to interact with the with the inner city. I, I, I like to go to to the, to the liquor stores in the hood and to the malls and shit in the neighborhoods and and, and, and pass out CDs and and and, and, and and let a motherfucker know who Coach P is and and, and, and why they should be in, on a motherfucker's playlist. And that's what I'm gonna be doing, man. That's all I'm doing. My plan for the next two years is just campaigning, man. Campaigning Coach P. And I'm gonna do this shit across the whole country. My first stop is um uh, uh, Atlantic City, of course, because that's where I ain't gonna make a lot of money at. I'm at that Miami, that New York, Chicago, Detroit, Texas, fucking uh, Georgia. I'm gonna go back to Cali again, you know what I'm saying? But shit. Just a war, a, a nationwide Coach Peace to, uh, tour, you know what I'm saying? Like, straight to your neighborhood, though. Not to your local football stadium, your local club, none of that. I'm coming right to you. I'm coming to you. I'm gonna introduce myself to you. That's what I'm going on, a tour like that, to meet you. Best place to find me is on that Twitter. I'm at Coach Pete 947 You'll know about everything I'm up to from there. You know? If you look if you looking for me. But I ain't looking for you though. I'm gonna do this shit myself. I'ma sell I'ma sell millions and millions of records with my own money. This shit is like a hustle. Like if I was if I sold weed or some shit and a nigga gotta spend 2500 1200 or what were that 3500 on the pound of cush or some shit? To make back eight G's, I treat this music the same way, man. If I got to pay for videos and, and promotion and tours and shit, I'm gonna spend that bread for the millions. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's just, it's just investing, man. It's just business. It's, it's, it's taking money and making the money make money for you. And that's what I'm doing with this music, man. I'm selling music, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell as many, as much music as I can for as long as I can. I'm a salesman. But I don't sell dreams that can't come become a reality. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling my own dreams and making them come true. And that's real. California weather keep it cracking all weekend. It's sink or swim, my back stroke it in the deep end. They've been to church in years, granny calling me the heathen. It's all good, let them hoes in. Might not fuck them all, but a couple getting broke in. Yeah, she said she'd never be my hoe, man. I said it's all good, my stay broke then. I'm ice cold, I'm frozen. Motivated hustle, next up chosen. This mean, this mean don't fuck with me, cause Jay ain't gonna get your ass. <laughs> I'm holding it, but this here is though. It's he hard, man. We motherfucking Mac boys and shit, man. All this shit is hard, man. We like, we like really together and shit like that, man. No homo, no shit like that, man. What I mean as in one, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we is the money. You know what I'm talking about? Mac we is the motherfucking money. Show the money back. Show the money back. Oh, yeah, we got to the motherfucking money back and shit like that, man. You know? You know, this real shit, man. You know, shout out to...